We have to do a, a few repairs here. It's good that the fire didn't destroy my door system, otherwise <laughs> this would have been it. Okay, with 82 scraps we have a chance at the store, at the upcoming store. We have to pay like 50 scraps at least for repairs. But maybe there is another weapon, maybe there is another weapon. Who needs a pilot when you have autopilot? Uh, what I need to do is I need to, with so many intruders that I have to take care of, like every encounter that I uh, played up through the end, I always had an uh, intruder on board. And with that I will have to um, improve my door system pretty soon. With that I says, Jordi... Thomas TSL says, I think you're gonna lose this, yeah. It did look like it, right? Abandon all hopes, says Messiah. Let's just says, Jordi, by the way, FTL is a game that needs a few playthroughs to get the hand of things here. And after that, to find um, to find your favorite best ship. I'm glad I un unlocked some of those two playthroughs of mine. In those two playthroughs of mine, I respect you for doing the hard challenge with all ships. Yeah, there are definitely a few ships that I totally like and there are some that I don't like and I will need more play, more run-throughs and more runs to succeed in them, definitely. I actually like the Federation type uh, types of class of ships. Okay, so we did this. We repaired everything. The oxygen is back at maximum. Let's jump to the store. A drone control again. It is again offered. The third time in a row. What else? Halbeam Pegasus and Iron Blast. So many things I want to do. I feel like I'm good on the on the on the, the shields sector, but not on the damaging sector. So Halbeam would help with that. If I can, if I get, if I can, um... What is Halbeam actually doing? Two, uh, one damage per room, okay. Two damage to system, this room. that's not helping. A Pegasus requires three power, oh my goodness. But, does... Uh, two shots per charge? I didn't know. Oh, it has a charge time of 20 seconds now. That's a pretty huge, uh, huge missile system here. It doesn't look like it, but it is. Two shots per, per, per charge. But 20 seconds, that's not good. And we have a, 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 a small iron blast that is offered. There is shit that you hate, says Bethesda 04. I can't really say that I hate a ship. Nothing comes to mind there. Federation ship type C is the best, says Thomas TSL. Haha, <laughs> I was a bit distracted. On a scale of 1 to 10, how screwed are we? Well, look at this up here. That should uh, that should tell you a bit. Seeing that seeing that we are struggling in all the encounters, uh, I think doom is imminent. Doom is imminent. Seeing that these weapons aren't really that good for me, I don't think they will um, you know help me out a lot. Twenty seconds is too long. Twenty seconds is too long. Let me have a look. Hacking level 2 takes 35. So how about a combination of hacking level 2 
dual lasers and a hull beam. It takes 14 seconds to charge, I can tolerate that. I should reliably get through th three levels of shield with this um, with this combination. Um, hacking two dual lasers and um, hull beam. But the hull beam only does one damage. I could have gotten better beams than that, to be honest. I'm afraid we are forced to sell the defense drone, actually. Repair your ships as you put Yeah, of course, of course. I'm not playing this. I remember Jordy play with a bad wing like ship stealth C or something. That was a cool one. I think it was the stealth A. Yeah. It's cool. I'd repair first, yes, Ghibli. Sell one weapon if possible, then do your hacking too, and hull beam if money allows, says Ghibli. Okay. If you buy a hull beam now, you can repair five points. Eagle Peak, say hello! You say dual lasers and hull beam works usually good. The Pegasus sounds fun, says Barley Guy. Slow but still fun, yeah. The thing is, uh, being fast, and getting your volley off, preferably first, and uh, before the enemy shoots, is a, a huge thing. So 20 seconds is totally not what you need. only does one damage per room so it's not going to hurt the systems a lot that I need hurt I think the Pegasus might be better than this but ah, the volleys are so far apart I just bought the heavy iron for 45 so I'm losing 20, 22 scraps on this as well if I sell this but I have to make some some adjustments now if I want to see some uh, more income in the future here I think I'm uh, you know completely dis distancing myself from the iron approach say goodbye to iron and say hello to Hacking 2 and Dual Lasers. Hacking 2 does what exactly? 7 second disruption. That should suck 2 levels of shields reliably. But I will always need a drone part to win battles. That is the problem. I will always need a drone part. And we are down to 3 crew by the way. Also, I soon have to buy myself a shield 3. Oh, this is so bad. Oh, everything is so bad. I couldn't transition into something re good weapons wise. That was the problem of this, uh, of this run. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell the Havoc Iron and the Iron Stunner and buying the Hull Beam. I'm repairing myself for a lot and that shall be it already. I would have loved to buy fuel, but I need to get my health uh, back up. Especially since I see that I only have two levels of shield. Um, yeah. Okay, this is what I do at this store. Let's see that it works. Dr. Jones, you are not gonna be iron like lion and Zion. Nope. Iron like a lion in Zion. Oh, really? The first enemy with my new layout here is uh, someone with a uh, with a flag one. Thank you, game. You are immediately messaged by an imposing-looking war vessel. 
You the ship off to save the Federation Army. Oh! Oh, it's them! I remember them! And you expect to survive with that hunk of junk? We are going to save them or die trying. Added a quest marker. Yoohoo! Oh, and this is directly the next one? I'll take it. Alrighty, so let them let them get away. That is the that is the lesson that I learned last time. You arrive at the coordinates given and find yourself dangerously close to an M-class star. The other ship messages you. Let's see how long you your puny ship can handle the seed. Prepare for a challenge. The rockship starts to power up the FDL drive. If we are going to earn their trust, we must endure the heat for as long as they can. Okay, they're cloaking. And we have intruders aboard. Why do I... Why is Alphus not uh, on the weapons? Well, anyway. I'm still suffocating you, although you are friends. Because you are going after my oxygen. I don't like that at all. Incoming uh, burst laser 2 and, oh god, a huge ass beam. I hope the reward is totally worth it, I hope. Hmm. Actually, since I do not want to hurt them really, um, hacking their weapons might be give me some relief that I need. You know, do it. Okay, hack it, hack it! The beam is incoming! Although my level 2 shields uh, are up. So that should be okay. See? That was okay. Just, the Zai says, just don't destroy them again. A huge ass beam says Thomas T. Zell, yeah. Uh. Bezessor 04 asks, does different types of ships differ in anything? I mean, for example, NGA to NGB? Yeah, of course they differ. They start out with different crew and with different weapon systems. Not only uh, with different weapons and different systems. I will show you once we get to the hangar what the difference is. Alrighty, so let's see. There is an incoming normal laser, that's fine. And they, one of them teleported away again. Okay, that's cool. And we have incoming burst laser too. And I would like to avoid that if I can by hacking their weapon system! Yay! And you see, it depowers again while I'm hacking. That's the benefit of, um, you know, hacking weapon systems. So for now, my um, weapon systems are ready. So let's see if I can get the shields down with my with my lasers. The jump is imminent. That's cool. Is this guy staying here or is this are they taking him away? Let's hope they are taking him. With, with them? No. FTL is delayed. Why why is it delayed? Okay, the beam is incoming. But that's fine. Oh, they destroyed my... Oh, with one... Single fire. Okay, they jumped away. Good. Good. As they jump away, they relay coordinates to your navigation system. They must mean for you to follow them. Yay! Let's follow them. Okay, this time around, I, I uh, supposedly made it through this part of the quest. Excellent, excellent. Solar flare incoming. Not good. We need to repair the uh, first before we can leave. Please don't destroy any systems. I'd appreciate it. Thank you.
Okay, atmosphere and weapons. And before the next solar flare comes on or comes up, we will jump. Let's jump. So here's the next quest. I have to take this route here because I want to get to the exit before the fleet does. And this universe is plain cliche. Alright, you arrive at a massive Rockman shipyard and notice the ship that you just tried to kill that had just tried to kill you is docked and already being repaired. Well Ford, I must say I did not expect you to survive. Well, we are survivors, I have to say with this ship here. It's very true. Rock cool the quest achievement! I am convinced of your strength and pledge to assist your cause. Well, we will immediately send an advanced cruiser to the Federation fleet and we will prepare our warships to move out. Nice! Oh, that's oh, That was totally worth it. Now that that's taken care of, let us patch up your hull. Maybe we can improve its armor plating while we are at it. We got an augmentation rock plating and we got 12 hull points repaired. Oh man, I like to see that. Mazais is clap clap clap. Bezessa all four says yay! Thomas TSL says they changed weapons again. Yes, they did. Because, well, they are back at the yard, right? So maybe they tried it. <laughs> Festo 56, nice! From 1 HP to full health in 3 jumps. Well, well, we paid some scraps for that too, but it's fine. I wonder if they would have repaired the whole ship. If I, were, if I were still down by one, uh, to one HP. Time for a trophy, says Rylock. I don't know, I don't know. This, uh, my offense, offense, my uh, weapon systems are still weak. With this, I can't beat the, definitely not, uh, I can't beat the uh, flagship with that. Also, we are still only on two levels of shield. That's not too good. And we are low, <laughs> very low on fuel. So there are a few circumstances here that still suggest uh, a defeat. <laughs> Woohoo, this is strengthening news this time that place. What's the rock plating doing? Let me show you. Rock plating. Superior hull armor provides a 15% chance to negate incoming hull damage. Hit systems will still be damaged. So, yeah. I always thought it was the other way around. But okay, rock plating apparently uh, makes it so that 15% of all incoming damage is not counted towards hull damage. Systems will be vulnerable still, but this here will sometimes be immune. But it's awesome. Yeah, I really don't think you can win now, says Thomas TSL. Johnny Jones, the ship received 29 hull points of repair according to FTL Wiki. There you go, TX with the information again. Thank you so much. Alright, so, oh, look at this. We have a store down here, two distress signals. All the shinies, but I have to go to the exit because... You know, otherwise I won't get there before the fleet is there. Very unfortunate. Ooh. Okay, they will <laughs> offer to repair us. But A, we don't have the scraps. And B, we don't need repairs. So that is an empty jump. You see a small trading post and ask about refueling. But they respond, go away, we don't serve your kind here. Oh. We need fuel! Oh, we are at zero fuel at the exit beacon! <gasps> Long range scanner is one of the best augmentations there is in the game. But no fuel. You come across a pirate in hot pursuit of an unidentified ship. You quickly receive a transmission from the pirate. Stay out of this fight and we'll make it worth your while. So oh, they they offer us a, they offer us an augmentation. And usually you are well advised to take these types of bribes. 
So they have a bomb on board, a heavy laser and a normal laser. Two levels of shields, but no drone parts. But they have cloaking, okay. Yeah, I have to take this. And then I'm dead in space without fuel and the f uh, fleet is, uh, you know, on pers in pursuit. Bali guy, maybe you'll find the burst laser too lying around in space. Thomas TSL says that would be nice. You have no fuel almost. I know, G-Pudding, nothing I can do about it. Titanium system casting, yes, we set our 4 That's what I, I was thinking about. Huh. They are not offering fuel. Yeah, that's that's a bummer, isn't it? Uh, long range scanners are dirt cheap anyway, aren't they? Yeah, they are 30, I think 30, you can get them for 30 bucks, but the problem is to come across them, you know. But does, what does that scanner even do? It shows you what's going on um, in the neighboring sectors, in the neighboring points of interest. So you always know um, beforehand before you jump into a um, into a hazard, for example, and you know where the fights are, so you can avoid empty jumps. The rebels will have three shields, won't they? Yes, Thomas. I guess they will. Kill them and get fuel, this possessor. Christy X says the real reason you're screwed is that this will advance the rebel fleet as far so the last several jumps will be all, uh, will all be fleet encounters who needs fuel when you can have long range scanners alrighty so um yeah i mean it is not guaranteed that i get a fuel if i fight these guys but i i am hard pressed to try. Take the bribe, Jordy, says G Pudding. Oh man, I get an augmentation offer, but it's it's like it's like 15 scraps for us if we sell this. But it is so useful to have it on board. It's so useful. Light side cannot be bribed, says Messiah. <laughs> ah, that is a misconception there. That's a misconception. They have a bomb, a heavy laser, and I think that shoots two lasers, that thing here. And they have cloaking. I will have a hard time fighting something that has cloaking. If you take the offer, you lose, says Thomas TCL. Yeah, okay. Try to be a hero, attack the pirate. The pirate's ship stops this pursuit and locks weapons onto your ship. No fuel, it says up here in big red letters. Okay, any oh they even want to get away they are not going to you know signal the rebel fleet but I'm not going to get any uh, any rewards for this either oh god and they have cloaking how can I ever stop them from getting away how is this even Okay, it's only cloaking one, but still. Yeah, it shoots twice. And this shoots also twice? Oh my god, I'm done for. I'm done for. The bomb missed, that's awesome. Okay, let's start sucking their, sh uh, their shields. Shoot their piloting. And mi I missed. Oh man. Okay, so I want to make sure that I'm hitting the piloting twice. So let's make it like this, maybe. Okay, enemy FTL delayed. I didn't hurt the shield though, unfortunately. And the weapons are all online on their part. And they are going to cloak again. Maybe I should have tried to... Oh, that bomb hit my evasion. 
Not good at all. FTL is charging again. FTL charge. Uh, FTL. Yeah, right. Do I wait for for the for the hacking to come up again? Yeah. Okay, hacking is ready. <laughs> oh, is this really level? Oh, it's only level one hacking, of course. I'm so dumb sometimes. Again delayed, but they are going to get away because my volleys are uh, so far, few and far between. They can use the the, the cloak phases to repair the piloting completely. Oh, okay, let's, let's just doing this, it's okay. Okay. I'm trying to make it so that I hurt both of the uh, piloting pi uh, tiles. Okay, I got the cloaking too. Nice, nice. Maybe I can dis I can maybe I can destroy them. Maybe. I don't know. I'm waiting for Okay, I'm waiting for my uh, hacking. Uh-oh, they are going to set my engines on fire. Start hacking. Guys, I get a more generous offer before I can shoot my beam. Fine, they say. Our previous offer was not generous enough. Let's improve it. And now I get five fuel out of this. Christy X says, okay, according to the wiki, letting them get away would be crap. Well, of course. Not only because something bad happens in the background, but also we are down to zero fuel. Um, which was the reason why, why we didn't take the first bribe, right? 
Uh, TX also said, if you can get them to surrender, you should get a high bribe though, like this. I mean, the scraps are, are bad, but the five fuels, the five fuels. Beam all the rooms, Jordy says Rylock. Mazar says, does it work like that? Can you hit the same room twice? Uh, Thomas the Elf says, not with one beam. Rylock says, fuel. Barley guy says, take the fuel. You might not get any if you destroy them. With Thomas the Elf says, well, you could kill them, but you might not get fuel then. So, yeah, I think the chat, uh, the voices in chat are unanimous. So yeah, I will accept the bribe. I will take that. Man, I was so sure they would be getting away. But somehow I turned it around. Nice, nice. So you know what? Ben Wilde, you are a very valuable member of this crew but unfortunately we say goodbye to this incarnation of Ben Wild. The reason behind that is because I need my peoples on uh, in, in full uh, on full health. Okay your engineering went down by two or by one, I guess. I don't know. And we have now 19 scraps. And 5 fuel, what I need. Ah. Yeah, that scrap reward wasn't that great though, I have to say. Oh, I would have had one more jump, actually. Okay. Well, well, well. We are still alive, but we are only scraping by. We are only scraping by. Rylock says, not worth doing that, Jordy. They take a skill loss. Yes, they do, Rylock, but they also um, stay alive longer if they are under fire. Uh, that it doesn't help if I have to clone them during a battle. I need their skill for, uh, throughout the whole battle. Ben Wild has been murdered. Say hello to the third clone, says Ben Wild. Chris says, treachery on board. Thomas the Elf says, oh, he could have used his distress beacon. Yeah, I could have used it once. Bali guy says to Chris, hey, he walked into an Atlas room all on his own. Well, no, he followed orders. We have to stick to the truth here. Okay, to the anti controlled system or sector. So we are in sector six and we still have um, only two levels of shield. Whew. Okay, the exit this time. Okay, at least connects good to this here. Can make straight jumps ahead. Unfortunately, this will get, lead me to the exit before the fleet will catch up. Because these are wide jumps, you know? Might be better to come from the top. Get here early. Get, yeah, get here early. And then have uh, like four jumps, um, be four jumps in front of the fleet. That should be better. So let's move, uh, move down first. Now the area looks clear if you prepare to jump off, but a mantis scout jumps in behind you. They are as surprised as you are, but their weapons are already online. Okay, we are going to have some um, visitors. So we will use alphas to mend the doors they have a huge ass missile system oh no oh my god they have three levels of shield that is going to be the the norm now and i have to be to be lucky to get through three levels of shields here both dual lasers have to miss i have to hit so that i can do some damage and they have an ng on board so he will Prepare successful attempts at that pretty quickly. Okay, I'm 
I'm going to hack their shields. I start sucking them dry, hopefully. Start shooting. And now is my opportunity to use the Hell Beam. I want to hit the shields. Let's see, can I get five out of this? Five damage? No, I don't think so. want to hit shields and weapons, but I don't think I get there with beam. I don't think I get there with beam. So actually we will have an opportunity to see whether or not uh, this works it like this. You can hit a room twice with the beam, like this. Because we have detailed um, overview over the power distribution of the shield system. And so we will see the damage that we do to it. So according to someone in chat who said this doesn't work, this one doesn't work like this, uh, we would only see one damage being done to the enemy shield system. But if that works like how I think it works, it, two tiles, we hit two tiles in the room, so we will make two damage to that room. We shall see. Okay, we've made one damage to the system. So uh, you guy, the guy in chat was right. Doesn't work like that. I'm surprised that I was able to do some damage. Actually, pretty good damage, since the hull beam does two damage to systemless rooms. We brought down their um, their hull points uh, by a huge amount. Unfortunately, we weren't able to um, affect the weapon system. That means we are. Yeah, well, there's some damage coming. There's some hurt damage coming. Oh, goodness. And it hits the sensors. Oh, my goodness. No, we stay at the door. We stay. Okay, my weapons are ready, but not the hacking. And the hacking is pretty much required. Oxygen is very low. Damn it. Okay. Let's take uh, one energy from evasion. Okay, the enemy... Oh, there is fire. In the sensors. Let's take this out. Okay, so. Start using hacking. Start to use hacking. They are repairing their shields, by the way. This is my opportunity to use my beam, and I want to use it like this. Yeah, I did some very nice damage to their hull. Unfortunately, we are now experiencing another attack by that huge ass missile. Where will it land? Where will it land? The fire in this... Uh, oh, wait. The fire in, uh, you know, Sentus is still alive. And it hits me in the engines! No! And we have another intruder? Did I hear that right? The fire is out in, uh, in sensors. But since we have another intruder, we have to stay here. I don't see where they are. Oh, they are in weapons. Oh my goodness. To actually take countermeasures. Oh, they will destroy one level. Destroy one level of. Uh, God. Because I reacted too late. 
Maybe I can do this. Make it a little faster so that they let go of the weapons. Yes! Thank you. Thank you. left that's cool very cool there is the breach in here close this door please why don't you close the door okay close close we have no evasion because this is uh, destroyed so let's hope that our that I can hurt them for two before they can shoot with next missile. Oh no! Oh, it works! Oh, wonderful! But the missile is, is coming in. And it hit me in hacking. Okay. Whew! The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. 34, one drone part, two missiles. 